Okay, so today we're gonna finally be finding the volume of a prism. So the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So length times width times our perpendicular height or altitude. So volume is equal to 14 times 15 times 5. So since those are kind of big numbers, I'm going to put this in a calculator. 14 times 15 times 5, 1 Oh, five zero centimeters cubed because we're taking centimeters times seven centimeters times centimeters. So we're going to get centimeters cubed. Volume because it's a measure of three dimensional. It measures how much space something takes up, and since space is a three-dimensional measure we have to have centimeters cubed. A volume of a non-rectangular prism is its base area times its height. So for this triangle it would be one-half base times height because that would be the area of this space right here times the height of the prism. So for this triangle it's going to be one half base which is this five right here times height which is which has been drawn in for us and it's perpendicular to the base and its measure is three times three. So first what we're going to do is find the um, area of the base, which we're just going to call BA, so one-half five times three. Okay, so one-half of five times three, one-half five times three is fifteen, so our base area is fifteen halves. So now we're going to take fifteen halves and times it by three. Fifteen times three is 45 over 2 and pretend that they gave us that this is millimeters so it would be millimeters cubed and I'm just gonna leave it like that because there's no point in getting a not pretty decimal this is more accurate so now we're gonna do an example find the volume so this is a trapezoidal prism because its bases are a trapezoid so first, for the volume, it's base area times height. So let's find our base area. If you remember, the area of a trapezoid is one half base one, which is four, plus base two, which is eight, times the perpendicular height, which is three. So make sure you add these together before you multiply it by two or one half I mean so four plus eight is twelve one half of twelve is six times three is eighteen so the area of our base is 50, is eighteen centimeters squared so now we're gonna take our base area and multiply it by the height of this prism which is three so our volume is 54 centimeters cubed. Well, that's actually all we're going to do for volume. But make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we're going to talk about the surface area of a cylinder.